We are now about to begin Holy Week and I know many of our parishioners will be very disappointed. They won't be able to take part in the Stations of the Cross, which is a very important part of the spirituality of Holy Week. So I thought I would share with you some reflections about the meaning of the Stations of the Cross, its history, and then uh, in this series we'll uh, talk later about uh, the uh, uh, role of crucifixion in the Roman Empire. The early church, and that's uh, for the first 300 years, would not have recognised the cross as a symbol of Christianity. They were focused on the Last Supper, on the meal around the table, on the presence of Christ in their midst, the risen Christ. And the symbol that they would have used was the fish or a shepherd. So for 300 years, their legacy was one of a Eucharistic people. It wasn't really until the conversion of Charlemagne, uh, the emperor, that the crucifix was introduced. And that was as a result of a battle where the crucifix appeared in the sky and brought them victory. After his conversion and the empire converted, there was then pilgrimages to the Holy Land to go and visit the places where Jesus was, to walk in his footsteps, particularly the last three days. And so they would go to see where he was condemned, where the crown of thorns took place, where the way of the cross to, to Calvary. And all those became, if you like, stations on the road uh, to the crucifixion. It wasn't really until the 12th century that that became more formalised when the Franciscans became uh, guardians of Jerusalem and the Holy Land. And they devised the stations of the cross. There were seven stations and maybe up to 20 stations, all commemorating different aspects of Christ's condemnation and crucifixion. And then a, it was as if they had copyright of it because nobody could use those stations. And in due course, they were rolled out in various Franciscan churches and eventually in every church. In 1857, they were adopted as part of the architecture of all Catholic churches here in uh, the UK. The Stations of the Cross is not about saying prayers and genuflecting and doing a little meditation and moving on to the next one. The Stations of the Cross is a pilgrimage a real pilgrimage. And nobody goes on a pilgrimage without seriously preparing for the journey. And then after they come back from their pilgrimage, of talking about it and reflecting on their experience. So our approach to the Stations of the Cross should be one of going on a pilgrimage. We'll look the next time at the meaning of the crucifixion in the history of the Roman Empire. Thank you.